hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i am taking you guys along on my day i like to post these every now and then just to feel like i'm hanging out with you and showing you more of my day right now i'm starting out with some coffee as per the usual and then i'm gonna get ray's breakfast my boys are actually with their dad the day that this was filmed so if you're wondering where they are that's why but ray's breakfast is simple this morning i had made these apple protein muffins last week and I put them into the freezer so they've been good to be able to pull out in the mornings and just reheat for her. And they've got apples, pea protein, chia seed, flax seed, almond milk, and just lots of good ingredients. So I had mentioned in the video where I made them that they don't taste the best but she doesn't seem to mind so for a toddler it works and I feel good about her eating them. skipping breakfast this morning I usually do it's I'm just not a big breakfast person but I've also been doing intermittent fasting where I don't eat until a little bit later in the day so I'm just starting my morning off with some coffee and that's usually the only thing I'll have until my eating window begins around lunchtime I try to push it back as far as I can but it's usually about lunchtime or later that I eat. This fasting window that I'm doing currently has worked out because I'm not usually hungry until then anyway. So I also want to mention that my fasting window includes my sleeping hours. But since doing the fast, I don't feel like I'm overeating during the day. So for the morning, I just have my coffee. I technically probably shouldn't even have that, but I have to have it to wake up or it's a complete struggle. <laughs> Now I also have an app that helps me a ton because I'm new at intermittent fasting. It has really helped me practice with staying on track. So it's an app called Do Fasting. This is exactly for intermittent fasting. So with this intermittent fasting, you follow a pattern of a certain eating window. And then whenever that time is up, you don't eat again for however long your fasting window is. So whenever you download the app, it's going to ask you a few questions and then it'll populate a fasting plan that's tailored to you and your goals. So right now I'm doing a 14 hour fast. This is one of the lower plans. Whenever it's time for my fasting window to end or begin, I get notifications on my phone. So that really helps to remind me and helps me stay on track. And then during my eating window, I just have to make sure that I stay in my calorie range so what's really cool about the app is I can log my calorie intake so I know exactly how many calories I've taken in I can log my weight my water intake and it also keeps track of your steps another cool thing is that you can find recipes within the app they have over 5,000 to choose from and if you have special dietary needs like ketogenic vegan or gluten-free you can find recipes for that as well you can find at-home workouts that don't require any equipment I have personally loved that because I don't want to be in the gym right now and I also don't have equipment to work out with so all I need is myself for my workouts. There's an online community that you can connect with as well for questions and experience and intermittent fasting. You can find daily motivation with articles and tips to help you stay on track. The Do Fasting app was created by Professional Nutritionists and it was also announced as the number one fitness app in the app store in 2020 and i'm so excited they were nice enough to sponsor today's video because of that i have a link and if you use the code kelly 10 the first 500 people can get 10 percent off of their first subscription and they're currently offering up to 75 percent off of all fasting plans so click that link in my description box to get started with your fasting journey Right. Cancelled all 
earlier the do fasting app has workouts you can follow within the app they all seem pretty easy to follow they have beginner friendly workouts all the way to advanced workout and I also like that they have quick workout options as little as six minutes but I've also seen longer workouts up to 40 minutes I had ordered this scale last week and it finally arrived today so I decided to unbox it and show you guys it's supposed to not only monitor body weight but also water weight muscle mass and several other things i'm still going to play with it and learn how to use it but i was excited to get it come closer next to me try to find another way to say this but i think i think we were meant to be just checking in with you guys we are out right now my mom works from home but she they have like a physical office that they were working from until everything you know started going on um, and then they started working from home and they have been working from home for the last year um, but every now and then they have to come up here and get some stuff done so that's what she's doing and um, when we leave here we are going to she's gonna check her PO box I need to check mine but I have some comments that I need to catch up on I had a video go up yesterday and I haven't really had time to <laughs> sit down and go through all the comments so I'm gonna do that right now and I'll probably answer any questions here on camera let me go to the video that went live it was a weekly reset um, I've been trying to do these weekly resets every week at least once a week I get everything done that I need to get done and it motivates you guys as well you guys have seemed to really be enjoying those by the way it's raining so hopefully it's not drowning my talking out hopefully you can hear me okay Darlene uh, I love your stovetop cover could you tell me where you got it so I actually made my stovetop cover I have a video on it um, I'll put it down in my description box for you um, but I made it it's called a noodle board I think way back in the day they used to make noodles on it I don't know but um, at least that's what I read whenever I looked it up because I was like, why do they call it a noodle board? But it's because way back in the day they used it to make their homemade noodles on. So anyways, I made it myself. I'll put a link to that video down below. Um, it has step-by-step -step instructions in that video, how I did it and everything. Jessica says, oh my God, the diffuser is so cute. Where did you get it? It came from Simply Earth. I actually have two of those. I keep one in my bedroom and then I have one in the kitchen. I would like to get one more, but that's where it came from, Simply Earth. I do always have a link down below in my description box um, for you guys. Belinda says, couldn't find a butterfly, so I sent you a chicken. That's funny. Just Jenny says, what in the world are dill gherkins? So they're just a smaller version of a regular pickle, basically. Harry says, you don't still use cloth diapers. You had such cute prints. So I'm actually using them right now. Um, I had just gotten out of using cloth diapers. It was becoming a lot with 
my living situation and all the laundry and it just was one less thing that I wanted to have to do or think about so I had put them to the side however we have had so much rain lately that our road conditions have been impassable we haven't been able to get out and so I had actually ran out of diapers <laughs> Um, but thankfully I had my cloth stash to fall back on so um, I do still use them in emergencies like that which is really nice to have um, so if you don't cloth diaper for any other reason definitely do that um, keep them on hand for emergencies like that because it's been a lifesaver I haven't been able to get diapers um, I was able to leave the house yesterday to get some and I had them on my grocery pickup but they didn't give them to me so still out of diapers <sighs> So I actually had to order some on the Walmart website and I'm just going to have them shipped to the house. Karen says, I enjoy the resets. You're very motivating. I love watching your videos. Thank you so much. Um, by the way, I'm loving all these butterflies that you guys are leaving in the comments. So thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Nelly says, how do you freeze the milk? Do you have to pour some out or no? So mine freezes just fine. I don't have to pour any of it out. I think some gallons of milk, if you've ever noticed, like there's an indent on the side of the gallon, um, that's actually a thing that will pop out whenever you freeze your milk. But usually that's so you don't have to pour any of the milk out. But it freezes just fine. I've never had a problem with freezing milk. It thaws just fine. Leslie says, are you going to school? If so, what is your major? So I'm not going to school right now. Um, I have thought about it for the future. Maybe possibly business or I've even thought about nursing. I'm not really sure yet, but um, I have kind of tossed a thought around in my head, but I'm not going to school right now. I know that YouTube's probably not gonna last forever, so I definitely wanna have something in my back pocket, you know, um, so I have been thinking about it. Ashlyn says, I love these resets. They have given me motivation to get something done, though it's usually one room a day. Yeah, I know how that feels. Um, I do wish I had your energy levels. I've been trying to get as much as I can before my daughter starts school back up on the 19th. That'll be a hectic week. She spent most of the summer with her dad and he could care less about schedules and she's going to have to get used to being on a schedule again. And I hate the $35 minimum, especially when sometimes I only need a couple of items and I refuse to pay for the Walmart Plus. Yes, I, it really stinks because I, we're back to like not going in the grocery store at all and there's sometimes we need like one or two things here and there but you have to place a $35 minimum every time so we have to make sure we get everything we absolutely need and if we don't have something then we just have to go without until the next grocery pickup so she also says so with school starting what is the most hectic thing for you is it the cleaning organizing getting clothes ready or getting the kids back on a certain schedule i would say getting the kids back on a certain schedule keeping them you know going to bed early making sure that they're going to bed on time and of course getting up in the mornings is always a hassle because they really do not like to get up in the mornings so megan says the clorox toilet wand scrubbers are made to dissolve in the water it's not for a deep clean of your toilet it's for an everyday little clean if that makes sense they're not heavy duty to get stains and rings out of your toilet it's literally made just to sanitize it so i did not know that um it's like even just a simple clean though they're falling apart so since i had to wash a lot of diapers i thought i would show you how that process goes a lot of people think it's a complicated process but it really isn't and no it doesn't make your washing machine stink or anything <laughs> i've had people ask me that before so right now i'm taking the inserts out of the pocket diapers but because i mostly use covers and pre-folds they're already separated before i begin the wash i'm running them through a rinse cycle and that's to remove excess soil before i actually start the wash I have a whole video on this. If you would like to check it out, I'll leave it in my description box. This is a load that I had washed the day before that needed to be put away. I usually have to wash every other day. Sometimes I can go two days, but in the summer with all of this humidity, it's usually every other day. When I put these away, I will go ahead and stuff the pocket diapers. As for the diaper covers and pre-folds, there's no prep. 
I just put them into the bag as is, which is why they're my favorite. They're so easy, there's no prep. You don't have to separate them when you put them in the wash and they are by far the most affordable. I feel like I'm speaking foreign language to those of you who aren't familiar with cloth diapers, but if you're curious about them and want to learn more, like I said, I do have a whole video on them talking about the styles of diapers, the ones that I use, how to use them and how to wash them. So I'll put that video down below if you wanna check it out. So it's a little later in the evening and it's time for Ray's bath. So I'm gonna do that and get her in the bed for the night. Every night, my mom and I have started timing ourselves for 10 minutes on getting the house straightened back up. That way it feels more like a game trying to beat the timer and less like a chore. But that's a fun way to get it done and just seeing how much you can actually get done in the 10 minutes. We just hit the high spots like dishes, making sure the trash is out, the table's clean, you know, toys are picked up, living room is straight. Just so when we wake up in the mornings, it's not in our face and it feels a lot more enjoyable to get out of bed. So I'm just getting Rice protein shake. I usually give her one every night before she goes to bed. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers We just let the days pass by People would tell us To get a grip of ourselves And get a job We didn't care what we were told Cause when we were younger We used to sit on the grass And go, damn, I don't wanna grow old I wish I could turn back time mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. The Ritz is done with the diapers, so I wanted to show you the laundry detergent that I use. There are many options when it comes to detergent. You just want to make sure that you're using something that's cloth diaper safe. And I like to use something for sensitive skin that doesn't have any dyes or perfumes. I got this particular one from Grove. I always have a link down below for that as well, but you can also find cloth diaper safe detergents in most stores. So now this can run a regular wash cycle and you're all done. When they finish, I can dry as normal and they'll be ready to use again. So right now, I'm just checking in with my planner making sure that I have my schedule on par for video due dates and such I usually have to check in daily to make sure I do what I need to do that day to stay on track and also so I know what I can expect for the coming days that's just how me and my brain works otherwise I'm scattered and stressed but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you made it this far leave your favorite animal emoji in the comments this has been a really fun way of seeing who watches to the end and thank you all so much but I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free.